Well, hey folks, Real Aussie with Joe Ritland and... The Derbinator. Yes, I was about to do the line joke there. Uh, Smackdown Live, Jacksonville will... You know what? Let's call it Nick Jacksonville. Sure. I don't know. You're going to come up with a creative title. Um, <laughs> quick note, though. Uh, former Valencia... Put Nia Jax on there as a joke, but she's actually, just joking herself. That, you know what? That actually works, Bear. But... No, you're Jacksonville. Uh, for, for, uh, formerly at Valena Tweets on Twitter. Follow at Valena WWE. She got back on Twitter recently. Something happened with her account. You could ask her about it. I mean, uh, just bottom line is, Valena's cool. Cool with her. You know, she's a fan of the show. Big fan of her show. So, yeah, give her a follow at Valena WWE. Now, let's get on with the review proper. Yes. Get, are you chopping sushi? What are you doing? Being distracting. Oh, is it working? It is. <laughs> so, and then we have Brian at the concession stand. Yes. Being that vegan and that environmentalist. Good job. You, you do your job well. Deep Brian, Brian. Yeah. And he was in the crowd. He he stuffed a hot dog in a guy's face. Well, somebody got mustard on him. Mm -hmm. Um. He also was, you know. Oh yeah. yeah like, it's man, It's completely, you know, vegan friendly. It is. So you should be happy. He's Be happy! Like, what, me or? No. no. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, the Yes Movement is dead because there are no Yes Movement shirts there. And he is calling everybody impotent and to change it. What the fuck, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Impotent! And what, what else did he say? Change it. But he said other stuff too. I yeah. didn't write. He I said some write other stuff that. and I was like, don't kink shame me! Yeah. Um, yeah, this this happened. It was Brian. It, at least it was different. Brian kicking off right. a cool promo and going through the crowd and just it, anything to spice up Jackson. Going through the crowd both physically and verbally. And this is true. And this is the the this was the biggest thing to happen in Jacksonville today in the world of wrestling. Nothing else big happened. No, no, no. no. There was no, no. Chris Jericho involved situations no. or you know packed. No, and we'll. Don't worry, we'll touch on that in a little bit. But our truth attacks Daniel Bryan, and we have our first match, and it's over. Daniel Bryan wins in like five minutes. The little Jimmy inaugural match. What's wrong with me? Or no, what's the matter with me? What's the matter with me? You're consulting an consoling invisible child, and you're asking what's the matter with me? It's one of Daniel Bryan's best unsung lines. Like one of his. Well, I mean, ones. it's because he didn't sing it. That's a good point. I opened myself up for that joke, didn't I? Yeah. So, yeah, but Daniel Bryan wins easily. Um, Truth got in some offense, but it was what it was. Yep. Bryan's on the stage, and then Styles attacks him. He is the real AJ Styles, which is counteracting the old Seth Rollins on Raw. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs a name. That means we're going to have the real AJ Styles versus the new Daniel Bryan at, at the Royal Rumble. Real, new, tasting, freshy. Trying to come up with a t-shirt. God damn it. Trying to come up with a t-shirt here? Yes. <laughs> we may actually be coming up with some t-shirt ideas, by the way. Yeah, maybe I'll start selling some more stuff on my red bubble. Yeah, which, by the way, that, that can be a way for you guys to get some merch and support him. Hey. Us. Well, I mean, the channel, yes, but you're the one that designs the stuff. I just say words. Um, but you, you know the best words, and you know how to use them. Yes, I do, I do. As opposed to a certain address tonight, so... But that happened. We had Styles yeah. attacking Brian, okay, building that feud. Ali and Ray versus Randy Orton and Samoa Joe. Ali and Ray, that is probably the bis biggest babyface team I've seen in a while. Yes, and as you would expect with any match involving Andrade Cianamis, he won. Yeah, almost. I said Orton and Joe. I meant almost. I wrote down Orton. Why? Because I thought it was going to be Orton. In the very next line. Almost gets the pen. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, that seems right. <laughs> yeah. Almost did get the pin, though. It was a really, really good match. Ali got a chance to shine. So did Ray. Yep. So did Joe. Almost did. Almost got the pin. I am as shocked as anybody else that he got the pin. And I love Almost. <laughs> I'm just surprised they gave him the pin. Ooh, I'm not 2019. New stuff, buddy. New era! No, new era. And don't <laughs> worry. We're going to get to the new era stuff because it is a new era in WWE. It's so new! We get the Barbers of the Usos later. Yeah, we do. Um, Although we do have a few segments before then. We got we, Shane and Miz. 
But we had a Carmella promo and a Becky promo and a Charlotte promo sprinkled throughout. You know, because sprinkling and Becky is... You got a hype up for the main event. You do. Which was a good main, main event. But then we had Shane and Miz talking backstage about being a tag team. I, the I trophy hate. wasn't there. It wasn't on a pedestal. I didn't see it. The trophy needed a coffee break. Ugh. I'm sorry. I hate this. Yep. I absolutely hate this. Ugh. This is terrible. <laughs> because what it's going to lead to, we'll get to in a minute. But Rusev is in the ring suddenly. And it was very somber. Rusev Day. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, we got we got that though. It was a somber Rusev. Drink break. <laughs> <laughs> they showed, they showed, um, they showed, they showed like a clip of stuff, like, or whatever, like this, I'm going to get back at Nakamura, but then suddenly they cut to the production truck with Nakamura in it, which means, wait, Nakamura is in the truck and they're cutting the footage and showing it and running it on repeat. You know what this means, John? What does it mean? The production truck is in cahoots! There we go. They are, they, they've always been in cahoots. Um, I would say that Nakamura should have, uh, you know need or, you know, hit Kevin Dunn the balls, but we all know Kevin Dunn doesn't have any balls. Yeah. And if I saw you, Kevin Dunn, I'd push you down a fly of stairs. That's all I'm going to say about that. Moving on. Um, because you were really wrestling. Hold on, but, I look at this room, we only had four matches? We only had four matches. They were good matches, though. Yeah. Um, Mean Gene <laughs> Tribute. Besides showing recaps of Hogan, mm -hmm. they they showed the video of Mean Gene at all his high spots, especially the thing with Wendy Richter, where he was fucking busted up laughing, and the SummerSlam 89 sign falling, fuck it! <laughs> um, that was great stuff, and R.I.P. to me and Gene. Nobody did it better, nobody will do it better. Oh, then forever. Yes. But, so, you know, hopefully they put up a Gene Overland, uh, video, you know, collection. On the network. They may have already. I might have not even been paying attention. I haven't been able to check out the network because I was busy watching Wrestle Kingdom and New Year's Dash and you were busy doing stuff. And we've also like been sleeping. Yeah. And, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I wasn't really sleeping much during that time. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, check out those reviews anyway. And also check out the Derbs 205 Live NXT review yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. If you, if, you, if you like 205 Live or you haven't gone into it yet, which you should, but I don't judge much, um, <laughs> check out my reviews. Maybe it might interest you. I hope it does. 205 Live is probably... It, it's the workhorse division of WWE. And they do some they, they do do some great stuff. And just I, I just have a hard time watching anything that has Leo Rush on it. But... I know you do. It's talented in the ring. It's just annoying. Uh, the Bar versus the Usos. If the Usos win, they get a tag title shot. Because new era. Fresh tag teams getting title shots. <sighs> Yeah, and just when you think Sanity might intervene, they did. Apparently, Sanity left the building because who intervenes? It was Mandy in a towel. Firstly, though, Corey said, "World class elite, the elite, the the elite." Yes. I mean, nothing to do with Jacksonville at all. But yeah, Mandy shows up in a towel. The Usos lost Nick because Jacksonville. Yeah. Yeah. the Usos lost because of a towel. That's what they. I guess in. you could say they threw in the towel. They did. They did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lost to a towel and what? Nope. 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 Not gonna say that. Mm -hmm. it wasn't gender. Anyway, Miz. Uh, all right. I had to say it. But then we had that. So yeah, Mandy. That nose was lost, and then Miz comes down and praises the bar and says. But me and Shane are going to beat you for the tag titles. And then Sheamus boots him in the face. Yeah, Cesaro runs him down and goes, well, let me see what my partner has to, has to say. And he's like, and Sheamus is like, flack! And he beat him. He kicked him down. But, but then, he got up again. And then nothing going to keep him down. I mean, but, except that boot. He kept him down for a while. It did. It did. It did. That's a big boot. But then we had Naomi brawling with Sonya and Mandy. Because <sighs> this fucking angle is disgusting. I'm not against giving Mandy... It's obtuse. It's not a cute angle. <laughs> uh, Andy. <laughs> You're being obtuse. What? <laughs> Naomi, Mandy, and 
so near bare than this angle. Right. And I have nothing against them trying to give a undercard feud to the women. That's what they should be doing. This is not the way to go about that. <laughs> because it's not a good idea. Sonya is playing second fiddle in a, in a in this kind of feud. She's actually playing third fiddle if you think about it. Mm. Which is sad. Now look, it's not it's nothing against Mandy. It's just I'm not saying that you shouldn't play up a girl's looks, a woman's looks. But then it's gonna be hard go to with, take her. Go with what works with them. Yeah. The this extension is... of their personality. And I really hope that's not her personality. I don't think yeah, I don't think so. I just, I don't think it's a good use. Yeah. I mean, it's just, you want the attitude error? Well, you get this shit. But then we get Shane and Miz, uh, well, Miz talking to Shane backstage and, hey, we're going to, let's. Shane let's, Miz's man. Yeah. Shane McMahon is the best. Shane Miz man. Yeah. Miz he, man. He is the Mrs. best man. Yes. He is the best wrestler in the world. Mm -hmm. So they're going to have a match with the bar at the Royal Rumble for the tag titles. Miz and Shane are going to win the tag titles, and then the tag titles mean absolutely nothing. You might as well throw them in the trash like Medusa threw that tra title in the trash on Nitro. No, the Miz gets pinned. You really think that they're going to get pinned? They're not going to win the tag titles. Right. Okay. Dysfunction but, in the junction. True. And by the way, you know what's weird? The Royal Rumble is less than three weeks away. Yes. The winner of each Royal Rumble gets the opportunity to deep throw the champion of their choosing. I think I said that right. My twist of the word around, though. A sure. bit. Yeah. Just, just a bit. But then Brian is leaving because he got mustard on his shirt. And Kayla was wearing soft velvet. You stopped thinking that, Shadows Ariana. You stopped thinking that. Velour. She was wearing what looked like velour, honestly. But Brian leaves it. It's a way to hype up their match. Yeah. Not Kayla and Brian. That would be weird. He, he gave a very aggressive promo on the mic, and I dug it. And it seemed like he was taking a shot at, um... He... The key to proper acting is the ability to emote. Which some people are lacking, and that is what I'm going to do. Yes. Byron. I like Byron, but he just... Shut up, Byron. Corey was less, you know, wanting to bludgeon myself in the head with a lead pipe tonight on commentary. Yeah. It still was a little annoying, but Probably because the writers on SmackDown are far superior than the ones on Raw. Despite the fact Road Dogg's there. Yeah. But, then we get to the best match of the night. Carmella, Charlotte, and Becky. Amazing! The main event is the best match of the night? It is a new era. Indeed. The women got the main event SmackDown again. Yes. It's a good match. Even, Car Even Carmella didn't do that bad. But that's easy to do when you have two of the best female workers, two of the best workers, period, in WWE. Yeah. If Carmella can do okay in short bursts, she's just not able to carry a singles feud on her own. She's like a lot of women, especially from the Jersey area. They can't do anything. But Anyway. No, no. I know that there are people... I, 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 Valena, I mean, I believe, I believe you're trained... Aren't you trained to be a wrestler? She is. Good on you, and I know you're going to succeed. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the match? Yeah, it was pretty great. It, 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 it felt like a main event. Yeah. The video packages and everything were fantastic. Mm -hmm. Becky won. Yes, which completely ruins our thoughts on what should happen at the Rumble. But I'm interested to see what happens next. She's going to she's gonna lose against Asuka. She's going to enter the Rumble. Hmm. They need more women in the Rumble. There's only so, so many. when is the women's championship match going to take place? It's going to take place before the women's rumble. <clears throat> Ronda, yes. Ronda comes in early on in the match. Hits Becky. Uh, gets her into an arm bar. That's mm -hmm. uh, payback. And yeah. then heads back. Heads to the back. So Becky uh, knocks out Carmella. Takes her spot at number 30. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's a good way to do it. We're gonna, by the way, our predictions for we will not do predictions for NXT Takeover Blackpool. Easy for me to say, but NXT UK Blackpool. But we will, be, we will be doing. It's a trap. Emerald <laughs> Akbar doing that would be good. We will be doing a takeo. We will be doing a review of it though. We yeah. will be watching it. We might even do a stream afterwards. Who knows? It's on early enough in the a a a morning afternoon. But yeah, um, Oscar then has to stare down with Becky. Oscar and Becky in a match. That's gonna be tremendous. <laughs> And B for SmackDown Live. B. The bees! Have it. Anyway. 
There's a poll right up here. Uh, you can feel free to grade SmackDown with us. Let me know what you think. That's right. Well, let him know what you think. Follow us on Twitter. Yeah, and leave some comments. And like, share, subscribe. Thumbnail for now, guys, the end of the video. The new SmackDown thumbnail! It is tremendous. And it's been real awesome with Jarman Flynn. And... The Durbinator. Yeah, by the way, my birthday's on Thursday. I'm gonna be 38. Congratulations. I'm so old. It's alright. We know. <laughs> alright, see you soon, guys. See you soon.